Hello everyone, this is Frankie with Meekspace.org. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Watchtower Library working on your Apple device. Now the one thing you want to keep in mind is that the Watchtower Library CD that you receive from the congregation will not install on an Apple or an Android device. You can't do it. However, there has been a uh, file created or converted from the Watchtower Library uh, into a format called .pdb. Now this file is um, it's the, a full version of the actual Watchtower Library CD, but it's been converted into a format that can be used on other devices. And so you have to retrieve that file. In fact, there's, there's several files you have to have in order to use the library. They're all .pdb files, and they use an app called iSilo to be viewed. And so you have to request those files and receive them, and then you have to have the application iSilo installed on your Apple or Android device. So what we're going to do is we're going to explain how you go about this process. In order to receive the iSilo version of the WatchR library, uh, you would need to uh, receive them from someone that has already received the files uh, via email they can then pass those along to you or you can visit meekspace.org you can create an account sign in you can go to our file request page and you can request that the files be emailed to you you cannot download the files from the website we're not allowed to provide the files via the website but what somebody can do is email you a link to the files that are temporary. The link expires and it, they don't work after you've downloaded the link or after a few days they expire. And so that's how we get the files to you. Um, by following our instructions to create an account at Meekspace, we assure, we're assured that uh, you already own the Watchtower Library CD. And so thus we're just giving you the library in a different format. You've already got it. We've proven that by you being able to create an account at Meekspace. So that's that process. So once you've done that, you've requested the files, we're picking up now with the fact that you've already gotten the email with the links. So you'll visit the App Store on your Apple device. In the top right corner, you'll type iSilo, and you'll install the program that's called iSilo by DC and Company. Um, it does cost uh, some money. I believe for the Apple devices it's $9.95 or $9.99, something like that. You have to have it. There's no other way around it. And so you'll download it and install the app. Once you've installed that app, then you'll open up the email that has the email links that were sent to you. You'll long touch the link and you'll copy that link. Then you'll visit iSilo by opening up the application. Once you've opened up the application, uh, you'll notice at the bottom are some, some links. Make sure you click on the device link so that in the top right corner you can see the three dots. So you'll go to the three dots in the top right corner. You'll choose download. Then you'll choose URL. Now in the address bar at the top, you will erase whatever comes up there and you will long hold your finger there in the address bar and you will paste the link. Then you will hit done on the keyboard, not at the top, but on the keyboard. And you will wait for it to try and re re retrieve that link. Now, when it comes up, you'll get a save target box. You'll want to save these files in to your downloads or your iSilos or any of these folders will work. I typically say to choose your iSilo folder and hit save. And so what will happen, you'll notice that it will download that file into your uh, iSilo application. Now, the, the size uh, bar is incorrect. It doesn't work properly. And so this indicates that the file has already downloaded. But as you notice, it has continued to uh, progress, and it's going to continue to download until the file is done and then it will disappear. Now I know from experience that this file is 
somewhere around 160 megs or so. And as you can see, we've only gotten up to about 3 megs. And so it's going to be a while for this file to finish downloading. So what we're going to do is pause our recording and come back when that finishes so we can carry on with this tutorial. Okay, friends, so the file finished downloading. And if you hit the Done button in the top right corner and you go into the the iSilo folder, you'll notice that I have all four of the files, the links that I have. I have the... Uh, rbi8.pdb, I have the w or nwt-rbi8-e.pdb. Those are two versions of the New World Translation. Um, you have to have them both because some publications point to one Bible, the others point to the other. Then at the bottom you'll have the WTPub ENDX, which is the index, and then the full library is the EN4. And so you have to have all four of these files. And they should all appear in here. Now remember, what we would do is we would double-click our Home button, go to our email, we would copy the link, we would double-click our Home button, we would go into iSilo, go to the three dots in the top corner, go to Download, choose URL. It's going to remember the last link you had in there. So just cancel this because we don't want to download the same link and you would back up everything there and you would long hold there in the address bar and then paste the link that you just copied and then when you hit the done button on the keyboard not the top right corner it will go out and get that link and give you ask you where you want to put it you will choose iSilo now I'm not going to do this I've done this for all four files you would need to do this process for all four files. Once you've done that, click the Done in the top right corner. And if you're not in the iSilo folder, you have to hit the arrow in the top left corner to see all your folders. Choose your iSilo folder, and you see should see all four of the files that you need to run the library. Now, if I click on the bottom one, the one that says Full, it'll open up the Watchtower Library in iSilo format. As you notice, it doesn't look like your Watchtower library on your computer because this has been converted. But what you will see is that all the publications are here. The Bible is here. That's what you see across the top there. If I was to go to Psalms 83.18, I would hit the PS. I would go down to 83 and I would choose 18. And that people may know that you, whose name is Jehovah, you alone are the most high over all the earth. So that's the verse. Now keep in mind this is the uh, the previous version of the New World Translation. This is not the 2013 uh, version of the New World Translation. That will be included in the new iSilo Watch Our Library if it is uh, allowed to be made. That has to be approved as well. And so if that's allowed, you should see that in the next version. So you can hit the arrows there in the top to keep going back, if you wish, back to the to the uh, Watch Our Library. You notice the links at the top. You've got the different uh, links to the different publications. For instance, the volume, V-O-L, would be the volumes for the magazine. So if you click on that, you'll see you have the Watch Our Library from 2012 back to what, to 1950. You have the Awake magazines from 2012 back to 1970. And, you know, you could click on one. For instance, if we clicked on Watchtower 12, that's the 2012 edition, we click on, uh, you know, 6-1. There's the Watchtower 2012 for June. Uh, and so there's the, the, uh, the different articles in the magazine. So this is the full version of the library. It just works a little bit different. And I'm going to... Uh, uh, come out with another tutorial video that breaks down this application, shows you how to use it a little better. Um, but everything's here. Now, if you want to use the index, notice the DX in the top there. If you click on DX, that will take you to the other file that must be installed uh, as well, and this is be the index. This is how you do searching. This does not have a search function in it, so you have to use the index 
to do your searching or to find some, whatever it is that you're trying to research or look up. We'll go back. So uh, remember, at the very bottom, you have links. If you click on your doc link, it's going to show you the files in your iSilo. So what you have to remember is that these files link to each other. So all four files have to be in the same folder in order for everything to work for properly because the links in the files link to each other. If they're not there, it's simply not going to work. So that's what you have to remember. So that's really how you get the Watchtower Library on your Apple device by using links that are emailed to you that will allow you to retrieve the proper files, the proper version of the library, the iSilo version. And so that's how you do it. I hope this video has been uh, informative to you, and look for some of our others in the future. Thank you.